Welcome to my basic hard work guide. On this guide, I'm gonna help you with the first things you need to do to survive for a little longer. And just keep one thing in mind, you're gonna die a lot of times on this game, even if you know a little bit more about the game, but it's not only the players that gonna try to kill you. Many are friends, but others are not. It's the environment itself. The environment is one of the biggest threats of this game. And I advise you to keep an eye on your status bars around here. Because they are going to change all the time. And well, be very careful with that. And well, what I've done is pressing tab to open the inventory. You can see the gear what you, that you have here. Your stats and also handcraft things. But I'm going to talk to you about this in a bit. And I just spawned here on this uh, boring flat land. Well, if I don't want to play in first person mode, I can always switch to third person by pressing F2. If I'm too lazy to check the controls, to just uh, hear what I said, press F2 and F2 again. Okay, I advise you to go to a really low populated server uh, in your first hours of this gameplay, so you're gonna do anything you need to do for surviving a little longer without getting well, molested by others. And as you can see, there's a bunch of servers, of available servers, community servers, as well with official servers where you can choose, and then favorite here. Now let's get started with this. First of all, you need to be fast, as fast as you can, so you will avoid dying even faster. Anything you do, just be fast. Gathering resources, uh, gathering food, everything, okay? It's a matter of time until you die. So, the first things you need to do is actually holding shift and W so you will run instead of walking. And as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff laying around on the ground. Pick the many things as possible until you have a certain amount so you can craft your first tools this, game's re this game uh, always requires a lot of running of course and you run slower because you couldn't craft yet some shoes to run faster if you check here on the inventory and the stats you see you can you only have this movement speed if you craft some sneakers you will run a bit faster of course but you still have to run a lot okay so I may have I may have enough to craft the main tool that you're gonna need to use in your first moments of the game and for handcrafting it press tab again go here to the handcraft and to the tool section these are the only things you can craft by hand handcraft so let's make flint hatchet and I guess you have enough for stone pickaxe so let's craft it as well and what I'm used to do is to place all the resources here and the tools here just in case you die if you haven't killed anyone yet if you are not in famous or not law you're not gonna lose anything you have here besides or except for resources or building items if you have any weapon here or tool that means that you won't lose them when you after you get killed or die by the environment whatever okay so let's pick up a bit more and as you can see there's a tree lock here just chop it down tree bar it means that it gave you a, a small amount the, the amounts you get from gathering are completely random you got some tree barks that you're not gonna use now you're gonna use this for crafting later things such as fuel or something okay so I got uh, another a bigger amount of wood that I'll get with uh, only gathering these wood logs okay so there's a rock here which I'm gonna mine with the stone pickaxe and this is a flint rock which gave me some flint and stone sometimes you get more stones than this but it, this is completely random and the more you go away from this flat area the more you go to the inlands to the center of the map 
the more threats you will find. But this area is full, is rich on resources. And I'm actually seeing a great thing here, that is that orange plant there. It's called orange, actually. To speak it up, it's a small, really small source of food. But just eat it, place it on your hands, eat it, it will... Well, it didn't provide you much uh, well, satisfaction. Just lower down li a little bit of the hunger bar. And you're gonna need to eat much more. But the best source of food on this game is of course the meat. Cooked steaks, to be more specific. And you need to want and do anything anyone will do to survive longer. And there's certain di uh, different types of animals. There's those small ones that are very hard to want because they run fast and away from you. And then there are other types of animals that those are the they are armless. But this one here, it's actually armful, but it will take a while for it to kill you. So just eat you. Eat him with the flint hatchet and pick up. Okay, so in this case I got a raw steak. Sometimes I got animal tendons or in leather or and no uh, steaks at all. But that's random. So I get a piece of food. Take note that this will go off. This will get rancid in a certain amount of minutes. Probably under 20 minutes. It's okay, but you can still eat a raw or rancid steaks, but they won't feed you up that much. So I advise you to cook them. For that, you will need a campfire, and you will need this campfire for the rest of your gameplay. A campfire or fire pit, because the nights are cold. There's some environments that are cold as well, so you're gonna need it for many things. Is one thing that I placed here earlier. It's a workbench. In a, a server with more people, you will see workbenches around. So sometimes you just don't have to uncraft them. So you will save up some hooks. And this workbench, if you interact with it, it will show you all the recipes, all the existent recipes on the entire game. So there are so many things from the common things to craft until the rarest items of the game and uh, which is great to see it's the the recipes are already all unlocked but you're gonna need so many things for the greatest items of course and you can craft the basic things the first thing i, I craft on gear uh, it's a backpack so i'm gonna need more things to craft everything is here which is great but i don't have that many things to craft right now. You can actually handcraft one thing, or even come here if you don't want to handcraft it. It's a basic spare. I can try with a sharp spare, but I don't have now iron. Iron is a quite common thing. Just gonna craft this, but for crafting, you need to drag it here, drag it back to your inventory, and place it here. So you won't lose it if you die, of course. I'm not very good with the spare. You can poke things with the spare or just throw it. For throw it, just press R and then left click, aim and left click. I usually do this in first person, it's easier. I'm gonna craft a campfire. I have enough for this. And you're gonna bring, you need to bring campfires all the time, all your gameplay or fire pits with you. Just, just do them, just keep crafting them, because you're gonna need them for the night. Many people die of freezing on this game, so I strongly advise you for doing it. There's many types of rocks on this game, there's a flint rock, there's an iron rock. Most of them give you a small amount of stones and the specific or a specific thing here, see? Plus these animals will provide you something. Animal tendons. Eventually the, the loot is random. So, and be careful here on the roads. Many people passing by on the roads, usually. I'm gonna kill that one. It's getting very dark. I'm gonna place here this. 
campfire and cook it and I know I'm gonna start to, to be cold in a bit so I'm gonna aim at it and try to eat it no it was too fast too far so I'm not good at all with this so I prefer this weapon okay so I got two animal tendons I'm gonna show you I'm gonna craft another workbench whatever I'm gonna get my spare I prefer the bow and the arrow, but I need more food for that. Okay, and now this one. Most crafting. And you will need to gather a lot of stuff to hunt a lot of animals. First, I'm gonna drag here. And as you can see, the cook steak will provide you a lot. Well, will feed you a lot. Now you come here and go to the gear. The first thing I used to do, as I said before, I guess, I don't remember, is a backpack. Go to the materials. You will need a lot of this. A lot of animal tendons for the wig strings. And I have two, only two. And only three leather, which don't, doesn't help me much right now. Uh, I can make some basic pants already and they will provide you a bit of cold protection pretty sure armor but they are a bit weak so I prefer to save up a bit for um, having a backpack plus you don't lose the backpack when, you're, when you die and uh, I usually save after the backpack for grey sneakers because they give you much more movement speed and you always need to want animals for this. By the way, if you start feeling cold, just put your feet, like I did now accidentally, on the campfire so the cold goes away. And also, you see so those orangey plants, you just find them through the world around. And this area is rich on resources. Don't go much further than this area at the beginning start to melt some iron ore and uh, upgrade your tools to some iron pickaxes and iron axes so you it's easier even easier for you to gather more materials faster as well with uh, chopping down animals or something like that or even people okay I hope this uh, basic uh, guide helped you to survive for a little longer in your first minutes of the game thanks for watching things but I'm gonna arm I'm gonna arm every every of this C4 and I'm gonna tell you if any of those have the same resistance